first I was taken back, I thought that they were different. But then when you start looking at um, the annual salaries don't match the hourly rates, so, so it's part-time versus full-time, I would assume. Yeah. Um, and then when you start looking at the population, um, it, it seemed to be, I didn't do any hard math, but it seemed to be pretty close from what I could see. Yeah, I mean, I can share what I found if you guys want or not. I just I got confused I guess at the study at first because I was I was looking at the annual salaries um, only uh, and then once you start looking at the hourly rates um, it really kind of you really have to look at the lot it, it looks it looks very skewed if you look at just the salary or right. if you look just at the hourly but you have to like divide out to figure out who is part time not getting benefits. So the rate was more than who was full time getting benefits, and the rate was lower. It was tough. Did to everybody have? Did everybody have a chance to look over these numbers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Any other thoughts on that number? I, I, do. I don't like eight point seven, um, and it's not because it's eight point seven. It's because I'm, I'm just not a big fan of the uh, cost of living number. Um, I think you get yourself into a lot of trouble that way, um, and I think that uh, there was some there was some conversations had or some um, some discussion on uh, pulling a different job uh, for the survey because it didn't match up the, the description didn't match up with what one of the employees was doing. That was in Julie's case. Yeah. Oh yeah, Julie's case. case. And I guess you know I guess for that I, I still think that. Trying to catch it with a code is not the right answer either. I think maybe if you want a reclassification or something to pay her better for what she's doing, I guess more appropriate. On an individual case. Yeah, to try and catch up. And so the, the last question I have about, sorry, but um, is, does this town do anything with like merit based raises? No, we don't have them? any policy that addresses that right now. If we stepped away from COLA, we would have to create new policy around that. And it's not that we couldn't do it, okay. but we just don't have that right now. Any like longevity step increases, anything like that? No. So and that's so, really what we should be looking at. So literally when somebody gets a raise, when somebody works here, it doesn't matter if they've been here a year or 20 years, they right. get the same amount, no matter what their performance is. No Correct. Matter, just you get COLA. Yeah. That's why we were relying on straight COLA, because we didn't have any other way to measure it without writing the policy. And maybe the policy came out with you, Jeff, is, is some places there's a flat rate and then your merit gets you more and maybe rearranging this someday to be a 2% guaranteed for sitting at a desk and then after your merit maybe there's a 3% or a, you know, whatever that number would be in the budget. And if the merit merits the increase, then the merit... No. Yeah, or longevity. So, so a little, a little bit of a different um, model. Yeah, it seems, it seems, but, it seems like a tough thing to just give everybody eight point seven across the board. Well, I mean, and I don't want to give them the whole. And it's, and it's, things, but. it's not very even either. I mean, you look at someone who's making a lot more versus someone who isn't, and then there's a huge kind of gap there, which is what Donna mentioned last time. So, you're creating more and more of a gap. In order to, in order to change that, we have, we have to revise the whole... No, I know, it's a policy, but... Whole, oh, right, right, no, and I'm not proposing to do anything. I'm just saying that's yeah. why I... No, I, I agree. That's the issue. It's, it's a better way to do it. Uh, this just doesn't seem to... Raises per se. Well, that doesn't even have to be merit raises um, or polar. It can be, like, you know, everybody's getting $2 an hour. It was a rough year. Um, and it's just right. across the board, so right. it stays flat. Yeah. Just. Um, yeah, we can come up with a number and then it gets dispersed. Yeah, the system, the system yeah. would be the change for that. You have any thoughts, Tim? Yeah, I don't understand the notion that. Uh, we're competitive with the rest of these smaller towns. Looks to me like we aren't actually. If you're looking at the administrator, this is the first one, the manager administrator.
We're at uh, 3657 an hour and uh, 76. But if you look at oh, Sebago at 1800 people, they're at 85, 40 dollars an hour. If you look at uh, which one is that? It's hot. I'm, I'm on the line here. <laughs> Take your test. <time. laughs> if you look at uh, Howell, Howell, that's 23 at 100 people. They're 90,000 and 43 an hour. You look at Damascata, 2,000, it's 94,045 an hour. Is there, not to interrupt, but is there a differentiation between manager and administrator? Like which of these have managers and which have administrators? Because those are two totally that different isn't, jobs. That isn't defined in the salary survey. So that might be part of it because a, a town manager has a lot more responsibility um, and authority than an administrator. What the other thing that wasn't was recognized was how many years of municipal service, which well, that's true. That's why it's difficult to rely on the salary survey. I appreciate that the survey is there, but there's so many variables. There's elected clerks and tax collectors and treasurers who make their own hours and take as much vacation as they want. There's appointed positions. So it's really hard to make a comparison. It, it, it is. And the information that's available in the survey matrix isn't complete, so you don't have all of that information. Um, right. Um, the other thing I would point out is that you can see that the salaries are different from one place to another, and that salaries um, in communities close to two hours sometimes are a good deal higher. I would like to point out as well that we have uh, very well qualified personnel who work hard for us and um, positions open up and we are at risk of losing pe the people that we rely on on a day-to-day -day basis to do the jobs that we have. And I in the category of the low lady on the fixed income, but we need to pay our people fairly. And in relation to the quality that they work, and we shouldn't be asking them to take a step backwards um, compared to what the whole economy is doing. And that's my position as an employee, and that's always been my position as an advocate for others. I, I agree with that. I think. Um, I agree with that, and I think you make a lot of good points. I, I think, though, one thing I'd be cautious of is if somebody left here, if somebody who worked here for 10 years or, or 20 years, um, and they leave there at a dollar figure, um, and there's nothing built into the um, town's payroll as far as, like, um, steps or increases or anything like that, then you're going to have to hire somebody at the rate that they left. And they, they don't have the experience, they don't have the longevity, they don't have any of that stuff. So I'm not necessarily saying that the people that work here don't deserve it. I'm, I'm just simply saying that, you know, I think there's a better way to do this so that um, instead of depending on the cold that could be 8.7 this year or 1% next year, mm -hmm. that you have a more standardized process and I agree people that do a good job yeah, will get some money. Really good point. Going forward, that should be looked into. And I think we have enough information now. I took a stab at a, you know, a step increase like the one that the consultant provided um, late last year, and it just wasn't feeling right to me. The numbers didn't look right. It seemed skewed, and I didn't feel like it was ready for something that could be presented. But I think we have enough information at this point that we can come up with something and introduce it next year. And I think that would have us in a much better position. What what committee or body would be would be responsible? Well, it would start with the select board, and then I don't know if they would want the budget committee to vet that. I think that. But would there's be no reasonable. personnel committee or something. Like that. No, we don't have anything like that. Uh, anyone else have a, a number in mind? I like your six number. I think that makes more sense for the county. It keeps things in line. I think the line with the county makes a lot of sense. That's true. Yeah. Because even at six, it's going to get questioned with the town meeting. Yeah, six is six is a good. It's team. a big. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, oh yeah. It's, I'm not getting six this year. Yes. Twelve percent of two years. Uh, is you may want to motion on any number. Yeah, we'll, we'll recommend a six percent cola. I'll second. 
investment. All those in favor of 6%? You can't call it a COLA though. It's a 6% increase because the COLA isn't 6%. That's the cost of living increase. It's just not as it's not an eight point seven percent. All right, all right. You can still call it a call. All right, yes. call it, call it if you want. All those in favor of a six percent. All right. That's right. Why? That's a little five. <laughs> no, I'm not that stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we went long. So. So it's basically, if you look at the first three pages, which is salaries and benefits, insurance, anything else you want to bring up on these numbers? Are we going through the legal fees? How far are we going? Right now it's going through page three. So all of the payroll taxes and all of that will go down? Yes, okay. number from 8.7 to 7. Yes, all those numbers were very sound. Not much, but some. You have the health insurance. We're talking about the payroll taxes. Yeah, but the other yeah, taxes. And the bottom number will change a little bit. So if yeah, we you can make a motion that those be adjusted based on 6%. Well, they have to be anyhow, right? Okay. Um, so I'm just saying, right, page one, two, and three are, are basically wages and benefit packages, right? Three is the benefits. Yeah, but I mean, the wages yeah. and benefits, right? right. Yes. So are we okay to okay the first two pages? Yes. Okay. Let's uh, make it official. I have a motion. Just make it official. Motion to approve the first three pages with the COLA at 6%. And, and the payroll taxes being adjusted accordingly. Okay. Well, so, what? Second? Second. All in favor? Second. <laughs> All right. If we go with 66, will that probably suffice? I think so. Okay. Let's, let's call it 66. 66. Um, and then I have a question on the bottom of the page, 0511 contracts. 
So are these contracts just for Trio, Burgess, and the website? No, it would include other minor things that are involved with IT. Okay. Those are just the major things. Okay, so those add up to $36,211, and you're asking for Right, there will be um, hosting fees and, um, you know, miscellaneous items. $14,000. So it's on the expense report. <clears throat> I figured there were extra little things there, but it seems high. Well, we spent 40000 so far this year. Okay. Um, so it would be, yep. Sorry, I was figuring 42. Miscellaneous charges for Burgess, like we buy battery backups when they, they're not working anymore. Um, Let's see, there's Trio, there's Burgess Support, there's, um... Yeah, so, I mean, so far... The With Harris, there's the licensing, and if there's an opportunity, we might require a morning program, so it might be something like that. Who's Harris? Trio. Okay. Uh, let's see. So you've, you've spent 40600 so far this year, so is it fair to say it might be forty two instead of 50 No. I'm not comfortable with that because we don't know what we're doing. We're going to attempt to equip this room so that we can have hybrid meetings. I have no idea what that might cost. But would not that be on our computer hardware software and no. our contracts? No, that's not where Julie puts items like that. She puts everything under contracts because it would be Burgess helping us with that. In 2022, the actual was 49, a little 49,000. Was that the year the server or anything was new? I don't know. I think it but I'm just saying. We get surprises with regard to technology. I'd like to have a better figure on that. I don't want to be bound by a small budget when it comes to technology. Can you look awesome? I guess not. <clears throat> Any other questions or let's see you uh, I'm just looking at that Jeff is here with still. So yeah, how far are you going? I know on Q6. Um, I, that far. I know. <laughs> I'm on page five. All right. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to throw it out there to see if there's any support for it. But mm -hmm. I just have a personal problem with not um, suggesting that the selectman contingency get the 6% that's offered to everybody else. The selectman? So the their pay? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's back there. That's okay. We voted on that already. I thought we were on page four. Contingency. Contingency is just like a, a fund. So, oh, oh, oh. We already voted on that? Yeah, it's the very top of the... Salaries. Salaries. Page one. I voted yes. I guess we have to carry on. All right. I'm sorry. Yeah. You all set with that, Jeff? Well, yeah, I'm... Did you see it? I'm so, yeah, I'm sorry that I missed it. Um, Can we undo that? I don't disagree with you. I, I mean, I just, it, it just doesn't seem right to me. I mean, everybody sure, has right. to get a 6% raise in the, in the three people that are working hard for peanuts and don't get anything. I don't know, I just, it's just me. What is other thoughts? I don't mind bringing it back up again if you guys want. I agree with him. Well, I screwed up. I overlooked the fact that they weren't getting the coal. So right. I would, I would have to go. Well, take it Why don't you make a motion then? I'll make a motion that we reopen the vote on page one through three. <clears throat> well, how do you do that? Make a motion I'll that we reopen that. it, and then I'll make another motion on what I want? I'll second that. <laughs> <laughs> well, make, including the motion, the first motion. So I'll make a motion we reopen it um, and make the change to include the yeah. selectmen on the 6% increase. Second. 
Discussion thoughts? I just have a quick question. Why weren't they included in the yeah. first place? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's common practice in municipalities for select board members, since it's their budget, to request an increase, and they did not request an increase. That's right, and that was explained. They have it in several years. Yeah, and it's, it's not right. It's like him not asking for gas money, driving his own boat around all the time. Who seconded that on this? I did. Okay. You all said that? Yeah, that works for me. Okay. All those in favor? All right, my fault. Yeah, that's a catch. <laughs> yeah, that is. Oh. All right, there's a look at page four and five. Any other questions for those two pages? Can I ask one question? What's the difference between the, the computer contracts and then the computer hardware software? They're both at like the same 59. I know. Usually the only thing that Julie puts under that the smaller category, the hardware and software, is if we need like USB cables or something like that. She puts very small items under that. But you spent 40 grand on small items this year? Need a lot of them. <laughs> no, that's that's in two categories. That's that's the total. That's the total. <coughs> that's the total. From the, from the first page. The budget the for computer hardware and software is a thousand dollars. It's carried over. Oh, understood. It's not, it's All of a sudden, I thought it was a whole other number. I'm like, why is that anything over 50? My bad. I just had a paper app. Okay. So yeah. that computer technology is up to 53,300. Yes, because of the phone. Yeah. The, the phone is under town office expense. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I'm it's sorry. Just, I totally messed that up. So it's, sorry. It's 5100. I was trying to help you. It's 5100. What? The 62 okay. goes up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. Any other questions on those two pages? Can I have a motion to pass four, four and five? So moved. So moved. We've got seconds. All those in favor? Do we need to say that 804 is now 6,600? No. Oh, I already picked that up. Okay. Then I hope it's. Okay, let's try page six. Well, six is continued with voting, so I'm a little confused about the order of voting. Oh, there's voting before? Six is Continue the continue the order. Oh. So I'm wondering why we didn't oh. stop at page seven. Because I didn't catch that. <laughs> That's fine. The recorder is confused. Mm -hmm. huh? So we just approved it was down for unanticipated expense. We didn't, we didn't include not We didn't include food. We can include that in this one. on the utilities underneath um, 0806 alarm. So the fire alarm quote was $21,845. And the intrusion, replacing our intrusion alarm was a little bit less than $2,500. Mm -hmm. So that's not $28,000. The, so the quote that they received expired, and when I spoke with the security company, they said there was a possibility that it was increased slightly because we can't act immediately. Okay. So I like to leave a little bit of a cushion. Mm -hmm. So the fire alarm that we have now works, does not work. I'm looking to cut it, something. Yeah, I know. It works, but it doesn't. It doesn't meet code, and it doesn't it doesn't have the most recent technology. So this would put us in a position where everything meets code. We have current technology. It satisfies main municipal loss control, and it would keep us in good stead for a number of years. That's the and reason for doing it. If it went 
waited until next year, what would the ramifications of that be? It would probably cost more. Just I mean, we could wait, year. but it would cost more. Did and any municipal write it up? Did they write it up? Any no. Any inspection or anything? Oh, yes, we have an inspection report. And, and it was noted in there? Yes. Yeah. But is there a fine, is there a penalty to wait until next year? There's the probably not a penalty, but we'll have the same conversation next year. What I'm thinking is that we don't have our comp plan yet. Once we have our comp plan, then we're able to apply for grants again. And there may be something that would help us with some of these items to pay for instead of putting all of them in this year, trying to, in an effort to try to keep this lower. I know Just, I don't know if you grants have ever heard from No, from it's possible system. because I, I've been following up on every grant program that's come up recently and the projects that we're undertaking just don't qualify. You know, we're not on the same scale as the people or the municipalities that are normally getting funded. Still, I'm, I'm worried about the end number at the back of this budget is really high. And if some of these things we can put off... Yeah, I think it needs to be recognized that the final number, I understand that it's easier to say, we don't have any control over the county, we don't have any control over the school, let's look at the admin budget. And I totally understand that. But we have needs as well. And there's deferred maintenance on this building, and it ought to be addressed. And I have put off a couple of projects waiting to see if there's funding out there for windows and other things, and it's just not happening. So the alarm on the intrusion still works, correct, also? The alarm system on the door? The intrusion, there's dead spots throughout the building where we don't have any security. And it also goes off with false alarms. Let me just put that on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to tell you where they are, though. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to figure that out. Well. <laughs> We're going to need to do it eventually. If everybody works so far, so it's going to be done eventually. I'm not arguing that. I'm not saying we don't need to do it now. I'm not saying that we don't need to do it. I'm saying do we need to do it now? We also need to secure our server. They were not happy about that. Um, so that will need to happen soon, which won't cost nearly as much, but we have to lock our server and close it behind air the door and air light. conditioning. So we have requirements that we need to follow up on. Okay. We're getting rid of a closet to put in there. We have it in a closet. It just doesn't have a door, and it's a small closet. It doesn't quite fit. So we're working on a solution for that. Where it has to be locked? Yeah. But what about putting it in the room where the license plates are? Um, it's possible we can move it in there. Wiring might need to change. That's a locked room already, a secure room. Yeah. They make cabinets with locks. You can put it in a cabinet. They do. It just doesn't fit in the space that we currently have. So we need to come up with a solution. <clears throat> okay. Anything else on six or seven? Um, I was in the same note going to reduce the building maintenance. When we have a project that comes up that we would like to take care of, it's nice to have a pot of money that we can draw from with select board approval. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm an advocate for a budget that has a little bit of space. And there are a number of things that need to happen to this building. With what item are you looking at? Um, it's 10-2, which is like right below it's repairs and maintenance to yeah, the building. Um, if you're removing a closet, you can use that closet. Well, it's no, we don't want that closet. Um, we need to open them. up the space to make the area that we have workable. This building was not designed for a modern office. 
So taking out that closet would really open up the space and allow us to have a workable copying area where we can put a table and other things that would be helpful to doing our jobs. And none of these things get any cheaper as the time goes by. And it's not unreasonable. I mean, the only reason why we're discussing it in detail tonight is because the school budget and the county budget are growing up. The appropriation that the admin budget is requesting is $128,000 less than last year. So it's going to be on our backs to make up for the difference. When we're in a year where it's okay to spend a little more money because we're going to pick up a lot of value, um, I think people are going to be surprised what kind of shape we're in. If we pick up more value, and the mill rates are going to go down, and if, and if we come across with a huge increase in fees because their tax dollars just went up, that's going to be, they're going to be like, wait a second, what, we don't need all this, and our tax dollars are going to go this high. And that's the concern. The, the, picking up the value is, it is, is not going to be a positive feeling for those if taxes go way beyond what they're expecting. Right, and, and I think at this point, because the reval, you don't have right. final numbers. Right. No one knows what's going to happen. I agree with that. You yeah. have no idea. <laughs> Usually every year we sit down and we say, the valuation is this and the budget is that, and we think that the mill rate would be that. And then if it's really high, we sort of try to well, lock it down. And if it isn't, then we're pretty much okay with the budget. But this year we have no idea. So I, next year, when we find out that we're in really good shape and our mill rate is 7, and everybody's okay with their tax bill, are we going to have the same conversation? We have the same conversation every year. Okay. I mean, when do we actually get to undertake projects? It's just a tough year. It's, it's a, a tough, tough year. year. Every year is a tough year. And I hear this every single year. I think the big difference this year is that we have no idea with the revaluation where we're at. So we have no idea what any of these choices that we make is going to do for tax bills for people. And I think that's what's really tough. But you're not making the ultimate decision. No, I'm not. We're, we, we are in the business of making recommendations and the town meeting makes this decision and then we live with whatever, we deal with whatever. We can't change things that we don't know about. We did know that it was time to do a reval, and we did know that there would be some uncertainty, but the valuation in town obviously has gone up. And, but, but it's, maybe it's and the cost of things is also going to continue to go up. Deferring maintenance on a building that's 40 years old makes no sense. <laughs> But in a year, there's okay. an increase okay. in inflation. Okay, we, we have two pages now to look at. Any more thoughts from the committee members on these pages? Yeah, I'll make a general observation. When I was in the federal government, which I was for a number of years, uh, federal agency has a mission. In my case, I was working in Voice of America. And the vision, and the, and the, and the, you know, Commission wants to broadcast uh, the truth, as the journalists would say, propaganda, as, as uh, critics would say, to the world. Uh, and we're in the same position that, that we're in here. You know, the budgets get tighter and tighter every year. So the what happened was administrative costs got cut because it looked easy, and we don't really need those people to get raises anyway. <laughs> and uh, because you know they just support staff, they're not broadcasters. That was the, that was the that was the uh, the thing. And as a result, I saw the administration cadre budget and in you know contracts. I saw the quality of the people that we were able to recruit go down. <coughs> and I think uh, we have an analogous situation here. It seems to me. And again, I'm talking out of turn. I'm I'm the new boy, and I really don't have that much. Credibility with you guys, I realize that. But I have seen this phenomenon and it's unhealthy. 
You know, an administration is just as important as any other aspect of what we're doing in making the town run properly. That's my view. That's my personal view. Jim, I totally agree with you. Nothing of what I have said is against the administration or against doing maintenance. It just seems like a year where we're not sure what's going to happen. And people are going to have a huge surprise when they get their tax bills. So I was just trying to see if there was anywhere where there was extra buffer that could be backed off a little bit or anything like that to try to lower these numbers and not yeah, you know, make you know, it easier. It's, it's not a personal thing. It's not against anyone here. The only problem with all I, I actually agree with, I don't know how I can, but everything everybody's saying. <laughs> um, you're a real person. We're all making reasonable the points. Thing, the thing is, if you think about it, I mean, if you defer maintenance on this bill because it's a bad year, well, next year's a good year, but the maintenance costs three times as much. So it, it, it's, and to her point, I, I mean, I. I've been in a similar situation. I understand that you're, you know, you're looking at the school budget, which is seventy percent or whatever, and the county, which you can't change. None, none of that you can change. So you're stuck with this little piece of the pie, and people come along and nitpick it and try to try to get it as small as they can because they can control this little piece. Um, and then you have a little maintenance budget inside of that little piece that's this big, and we and we're trying to find money for the right reasons. So. It's not personal, but I don't know if deferring maintenance is, is worth it. I, don't know. I think this building is, I don't know, I don't work here, but I believe what people are saying is we probably need some attention. I mean, I mean, kind of try to act like I would at home. Right. If it isn't broken, it doesn't get fixed. Because right. there are other things that are broken that need to get fixed. That is the that's issue. How that's how we but if it's, I mean, but if you, if you decide not to fix it, if you decide not to fix it this year because it's a bad year, next year's a big year, but the cost goes as much, what are you saying? And what if next year, next year won't be a good year. All right, right. 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 no year is a good year in municipal government. I used to hear that from, from the Congress all the time. Go, it's a tough year, we can't give you any money. Every year. Maybe next year we can help you out more. I've been in this business for 20 years. It's been the same story every year. It doesn't change. Any more questions on six or seven? <laughs> We're in violent disagreement here. <laughs> uh, we, we still need to take a vote. Uh, so there's a motion on six and seven, including, if I'm correct, the $100 for food for water machine. You missed that? Voting. Oh. Right? Yeah, it was on the previous page. Uh, well, no, it's on page six. Yeah, it's on page six. No, I'm not follow I didn't follow what you said. Maybe. I'm saying we have to add a hundred dollars in apparently for right. food because for the voting. Because days. it wasn't on a previous yeah. page, yes. So it's, it's, is there a motion on page six and seven in and then include the hundred dollars for food for uh, voting days? I know, we didn't vote on the previous oh, page. Oh. It straddled pages once, so we only voted on half. So that's why I'm asking for a motion. Is there going to be a motion? Yeah, we should include eight, too. No, that's the issue. I mean, you didn't have a ballpark before a, a 
quote. He did not want to ball whack it because it could be very different, the actual quote. And we, we, had, we had to do it because as a good life, we would lose heat in the middle of winter, yeah. and that would be disastrous. disastrous. Mm -hmm. All right, so moving along. Uh, I have a question on 6, 7, clothing. So there was $12,550 budgeted last year, and they spent 600 and change. He has, so not, he has not spent all of it yet. He plans on waiting close to the year and then buying things. End of year December? He, he is but this year. Okay. Yeah. And so then there's another 13000 for the year after? Yes. Or is that, I was just curious, it looked like rollover to me. No. So you're signing like $25,000. I think that's around, around the thirteen close. each year. And yes, he probably won't spend the next one until the end of the year. He waits. I'm not sure what clothing can include. Like, what would that include? It's probably helmets and gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think that's all under PPE. Yeah, that would be gear, yeah. So probably turn out gear. Do they have any uniforms and things like that? They have some, yes. Usually they buy their own. Okay, so it's not rollover because 2022 is $700. So it just looks like it was a rollover account. Basically, it's all lessons from the phone And then isn't the dumpster, like, so much cheaper now? We're going to roll it into the contract in December. So then the $1,000 underneath the dumpster? Well, it has not been rolled over yet. So he, he's basing on current numbers. Which is $400. That's, That's so far this year. Um, last year it was... Oh, that says twenty three is four hundred dollars also, and the year before that was two fifty five. I'm just basing what it says year to date spent. Right, twenty twenty two is four hundred. If he keeps the, the dumpster, it would be he's projecting it would be a thousand dollars a year. I think he yeah. did. This is April, go. right? Shouldn't it be like six hundred dollars, maybe, if it's going to be? And next I know what he covered it while he was here. All right, you know what? Know. It's not much money. Never mind. I thought he mentioned the dumpster. Yeah, it's super cheap now. Yeah, was, no, I thought he said he was. This is his number, though. I mean, I, um, he's not here to explain it. Yeah. Okay. okay. I missed the fire department night. My fault. Yeah. Are you doing just page nine? Nope, nope, I'm just doing okay. two. Any more questions on nine? Ten? The carry forward for the 2023 budget that's like $78,000. Does that carry forward every year underneath the fire department operations? Oh, you're on the other version. I am. Um, no, that wouldn't. Well, yes, he keeps the capital that he carries over each year. <clears throat> okay, so that that's stays with the fire department. The so capital. that's under operations. I'm not talking about the capital account yet. Under fire department operations. There's any, any money that's carried over from his budget carries over to the fire department in the following year. Okay, so the 78000 plus carry forward is almost exactly the same as the 79835 for the fire department operations for the year. So, can that be used? What does that usually get used for? It can be used. I think it is saved up and used for big ticket items when the fire department finds themselves in a bind and they really need something because it's broken. So, Maybe not as long, maybe not as long time for me to bring this up, but it seems like it. this is the question I had about the road budget as well. Um, so it kind of fits here. I'll bring it up here. So these carry forward budgets that go right to the department. I just want to make sure I understand it correctly. If if you have for easy numbers, if you have a hundred thousand dollars budgeted and you spend seventy five, and then you go the next year and you budget another hundred thousand dollars, you now have a hundred and Mm -hmm. And so that can continue for as long as you want it to. And you just have that money inside of that department. Mm -hmm. Unless we choose to spend it as a town. That's why I want to address what's happening with the road 
Hey, I mean, I want to talk about this particular thing again when we get to the road budget, but it seems to fit now. So I just and wanted to yeah, make sure that... It's only particular accounts. It's not every account. Right. So, like, other accounts that aren't carried forwards, if it doesn't get spent in a year, it, it goes to surplus, which then is the extra pot of money that helps adjust the tax rate. Right. And it's, it's, it's only uh, certain accounts. spelled out on the town meeting warrant, too, which accounts carry over. So if you have... I guess it, maybe this is a loaded question to ask, but I guess if 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 you budget a hundred thousand dollars and you spend seventy five, and then the next year you budget a hundred thousand dollars, shouldn't only seventy five come out of? You should budget seventy five because you already have seventy five. Yeah, right? I mean, well, that, that's wouldn't that be would, and wouldn't that drop your? I understand, I understand what you're saying, and the carryovers for the fire department work differently than the carryovers for the road budget. Uh, the fire department is, it adds up and it stays there for a reason, because items that the fire department sometimes finds that they need can be quite expensive. So the town has allowed the fire department to just let that money stay in reserve. Is not that like a rainy day fund or something? I mean, isn't that like... like I yeah, mean, it's, that, a, it's a fire mean? department rainy day fund. So designated for the fire department. The theory behind it, going back a few years, Jeff, was that the price of equipment, as you know, it trucks, anything. Uh, this year they had a hot launch uh, on yeah. the launch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you see the has to take place, though? I mean, or can they just decide that it's a designated to... capital account which requires action by the select board? Oh, okay. It's... Okay. So they can't just, it's not a real No, they, they, they can't just, just spend it three years later. They can spend it with approval. So they actually have two carry they forward systems. System. They have two carry forward accounts one's in operations and one's in capital. Mm -hmm. uh, both of those have to be authorized by the selectmen to be spent. That's my understanding. Yes. Okay. So the operations one has seventy-eight thousand dollars in it, and the capital has fifty-five six, fifty-five thousand six in it. So that's a lot. I'm wondering if we could roll some of that into the operation. These are all great questions. It's nothing that we're going to be able to decide tonight because we don't have all the players in the room. I motion that we take. Julie really needs to be here, and John needs to be here as well, if we're going to do anything with those reserves. I've never dealt with those reserves. I would motion that we put 45000 from the carry forward of the fire department operations back into their operations to offset the operations budget number. Even, even if we do that, they still have like almost $56,000 in the capital account if something breaks. I, I totally agree with all of that. that if, you know, they have something that breaks down, the jobs of life or whatever, that they should have that money to be able to use it. If those numbers yeah. are actually reflecting what is currently happening, and I can't promise that. That's well, why I'm concerned that. of taking any action with capital or reserve accounts without the treasurer in the is that something that the selectmen would do later? I don't know. We certainly need to understand it. Do you see what we're going to do? We're not in a select board meeting. I don't think it's appropriate for us. No, no, no. I, I'm, it's a general question. I'm not asking, will you do it? I'm asking procedurally, is that something that, since we can't vote on it tonight, that well, could be addressed by the selectmen? We need to clarify. Certainly, we have no input on how that money spent as a select board. That's a very different answer. Procedurally, it would be appropriate. How about yes. if we have a motion to accept the fire department proposed budget and with the understanding that they're uh, asking the board of select the select board to look into using part of the overlay money, you said about $45,000 yeah. $45, to help offset the uh, tax commitment. 
Well, we're, we have we've committed to give them a heating system, which we don't know what that is. So, I, so we're we're. Well, I, that's what I'm not, that's what I'm saying. It's well, the other thing, the other thing that <coughs> I felt is that in at least in the time that I have known Jonathan's submission of budgets, he's never asked for something that he didn't really need. So there's a reason why those figures are there. No, I'm not asked, I'm not saying he's asking for something he doesn't need. I'm saying that there's a pot of money in their care for this <coughs> well, equal to the amount of their operating budget. But the, the pot may be strong by whatever the well, new Francis cost. Yeah, well I was gonna say right. why don't why don't we just approve it as written and then without the furnace included at all and then when the furnace price comes up if it can be covered out of that money it's covered out of that money. And the select, that's a, I think that's a great so idea. Because we're, I mean, if, if, if they got that, that's what I was getting at. Yeah, it seems like the easiest. Yeah, it's 130 something thousand dollars in there. And the heating system can come out of that fund then. Can you make a motion, Jeff? Can you repeat it? Okay. Well, you, wait, you get a denied line first. There's a motion on the, on the table. Is there a second for Valerie's motion? Second. Oh, see now if you had a second, we wouldn't have to vote on it. No, oh, is that right? So I'm yeah. trying to do. <laughs> Why didn't somebody trip, slap me inside the head? Just go there. Just go there. You and not me. I didn't know. You. <laughs> so Oops. I I totally lost what the motion was. The the motion was to to use forty five thousand of the operate fire department operation budget carried forward towards their operating budget. Okay. That was the motion. And you seconded it. Yeah. Although, all those in favor of Brownian's motion. <laughs> all those opposed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you don't second a motion, guys. It's the last thing. Is there is there a motion on the, the floor for if it was your idea, can you say it No. <laughs> we don't necessarily. Like that. Essentially what we're saying we're gonna pass if we vote for it. Nine, ten. 11, as presented, we have the understanding that the furnace money, the new furnace of the fire department, will come out of the current uh, uh, surplus. Surplus of our current money. Oh, wait, you're talking about that, Well, yeah, no. Um, the um, the, the, the travel the, reimbursement. Well, travel reimbursement. Sorry about that. The travel reimbursement has been zero for the last yeah. three years. So hey, why are we putting what, Hang on, we're not putting in that. We're working on the fire department, and that stops. I know I did. I just changed it. Okay, I'm sorry. It might be better to put that in there too. No, we're going to borrow that. Pages. We're going to borrow that. All right, just the fire department. The, the fire department budget is a motion to pass the fire department budget as presented. So, so moved. moved. Second. Second. All those in favor. All right. Was the caveat added to that that the furnace comes out of it? Yep. Yes, I'll get it from the recording. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. tired. My brain is shutting down. Okay. It's early. Though. Animal control, which does go on two pages. Goes on two pages. Bottom of 10, top of 11. Julie continues to put $1,300 as a travel reimbursement. Um, she's frustrated that Todd never puts in for his mileage but he doesn't seem to put in for his mileage. So I suppose we lower it to $600. What do you know? What do we do if he puts mileage in? I mean, she yeah. talks to him about so it. Can can do. Do. So let her continue to do it. They move money around in these accounts all the time, dude. I just, I don't know, it's just, all these things that are zero, 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 and we keep on putting the same high number or higher number on them, just... As many trips as you made to a with the with crazies and never put any money in, he's not going to put money in. No, he's not. No. no, and Julie reminds him and she expects him to put it in at the end of the year, and he never does, so... Well, is there a motion on the end control budget? I make a motion that we accept the animal control budget as is. <laughs> is there a second? I'm afraid of second. You guys are talking. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, any more discussion on that? 
Okay, all those in favor of the risk control budget? All those opposed? It's just 600. <laughs> Okay, the school is paid. It's done. It's 12, 13. And as far as I know, the school is all set to go. All right. 14. And we'll do 15 at the same time. Shellfish warden was really able to do it as many hours as possible. It was about the same amount of money every year. Does this mean sixty dollars per hour? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, that's the cost. Why is it sixty dollars per hour? Because Joel mm -hmm. came up with that thing. He's he's not. Is that mm -hmm. one's per one person. Right. Yeah, depending well, what is it? Depending on the detail rate. It's, it's benefits and, and everything. Everything. Okay. okay. It's only 20 hours. It's, it's not the uh, it's, it's daily hours. officer. It's a separate, separate office. But it was 1600 bucks so far this year. And we're looking at 15000 Yep. Right, because we had a pretty large gap where we weren't covered at all. No. So okay. there's money in the, this year's budget to fund it. Okay. Just look funny in the air, so. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand that. Any other thoughts on the uh, page 14 and 15? Which 
I'm sorry. I'm on page 17. You know, but um, oh, my there, there's some of this stuff that there's, there's almost nothing spent, almost nothing spent, almost nothing spent, and then thousands of dollars requested. And I guess without detail provided with it, mm -hmm. I, I, I just keep asking myself where all that. Are you looking at the year to date? Is that what you're looking at? Well, I'm looking. No, I'm looking at all of it. Right. Oh, so okay. going back from 2021, and then I, I think the line that really catches my eye that maybe was explained that I missed is um, 2012 general road repair. Mm -hmm. um, is there? Did I miss an explanation on that? Yeah, you mean because the budget is 100,000? Well, we spent 336. No, we went. Yeah, I mean we went from 2,000 to 2,600. We budgeted a hundred thousand and what three hundred and thirty-six and we're asking for fifty. And so to me, to me something like that, I would want I would like what is that for? And why did that happen? I'm guessing some of this stuff got shoveled around shuffled around because if you look down yeah. to uh, yeah. uh, the lower contract numbers, uh, there's a one that was two fifty in the twenty twenty three budget and nothing was spent. I suspect some of that got rolled up into the 336. Mm, right. No, I don't think so. Well, so the, my, I guess my point is, is if, is if you look at this, what I did is I said, looking for a way to, to be reasonable, um, I averaged out the, uh, the general road section. Um, I did 2021, 2022, and the budget in 2023, thinking that I was going to, you know, be able to make a difference, and it's only twenty thousand dollars difference in the whole entire thing. So I don't know. I don't necessarily think there's a, a big money gap here. I think there's a lack of information and right. supporting documentation. Right. right. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I mean that that was those are my comments. I I two things that I'd like to do. I I would like somebody to tell me. If there's any opportunity for carryover, how much money that would be. Um, and number two, um, if if we should if we shouldn't reduce it, you know, it sounds silly, but at least twenty thousand dollars to meet the average. If there's no explanation provided on what's what's going to take place, and yeah, which which category would you take that amount of money out of? Um, uh, you won't like my answer. My answer is to, I would just reduce to twenty thousand and tell you to figure out which one oh, okay. to go. Oh. Jeff, I'm not sure I, I, when you say you compared the three years. So if, yeah, if you take the if you take the total see, I was I started to do this by line on it because it was um, like if you look at painting, striping and mowing at twenty zero three, you've got just under four thousand, you've got twenty thousand the next year, you've got budgeted for twelve You've only spent 22, and you're going to go up to 20. You know, if you do those averages, you're going to come up. So I did the total on, on everything, and so I did the the total of the 2021 actual, 2022 actual, the 2023 budget, right, and averaged it, and ended up only coming up. I think like it was about 20,000, give or take, less than what was being asked for. The painting striping and mowing um, in 2021, as I recall, um, as people were coming out with COVID stuff, they ran out of the striping material and we didn't get striped that year. As you may recall, the Foster's Point Road had no end on the side. That stress went into the ditch. The, the striping wasn't done after the mowing. So that's why that didn't get done. And that's why the next year was higher. But then we didn't spend any this year. We're only at $2,200 this year. Um, that's because Steve still has spring stuff to do. A lot of this happens in the spring. So I guess, I mean, it's a clarity issue for me. Yeah. I just, it would be helpful if, if there was some supportive documentation that said, Hey, we've only spent twenty two hundred bucks so far because we spend all this money on springtime painting. Right. He does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does 
hold something like that and do it in spring. But what was a big project last year? Full Rock. Project. Yeah, I would say Full Rock and Mountain. Mountain. You mean this current yeah. budget year? We're in, yes. Full Rock and Mountain. Yeah. And that's for that. That's for that uh, general road fund. That was the Mountain Road, I believe. And that's why. It's well, that's why it went higher, and the money was used uh, from other other places to do the Mountain Road. They did a lot of work down there as far as ditching and moving the road and hot topping and everything else. Was it just like misestimated or was, did the prices go up or what? I think it was under the special projects and then it got pulled out of there and pushed no, back. No, it wasn't budgeted under special projects. When the invoice was paid, it was taken out of the wrong account, but it wasn't a special project. The Birch Point erosion was the only special project. What account would that have come out? That extra two hundred twenty-six thousand dollars have come out of. Well, this one that I provided you with yesterday is correct. Right, but which account would that two hundred twenty, two hundred thirty-six thousand dollars have come out of? Like, wh why? Where is it posted wrong? Where would it should have? Where should it have been? Well, we have to look back at the one I originally provided. Right. I guess what he's saying is it's not in the budget anywhere. Well, no, it isn't specifically. And I totally understand the confusion because there is no clarity. And it concerns me too. And speaking strictly for myself about the carryovers, um, what I would suggest to the select board this year when we're going over the town meeting warrant is that we take all of the carryover that's for this current fiscal year and previous fiscal years that is remaining and we roll it in surplus and we get rid of that carryover altogether um, because it's just nobody understands what we have right now and the way that the budget is being presented is not with any clarity so I totally understand where you're coming from so yeah and, and so I guess that's that's my the closing Remark, I guess, is I don't know. You know yeah. I mean, they. I know. It, I know. I'm a small piece of a of an opinion based on what we're talking about and the towns going to vote on it and stuff. But from from my part, I, I mean, I don't know how to vote on a budget that we can't really account for the spending to well, give to give as much money. Again, this year, I mean, we don't really know where all of it went. For I think he was actually more clear this year than he has been in the past about what he's planning on doing. <laughs> well, it's just, I believe he was. I mean, he was very clear about, you know, patching in front of the fire department and doing some patching in the town hall parking lot. And, um, no, he was. He you know, the engineering services, he put an amount of money in to determine where the boundaries are so we can work on the turnarounds. But, but, but uh, that's not the point. The point is it's oh, not, I understand it doesn't the translate point. into something that we can understand. I understand that, but that's not going to happen this year. So mm -hmm. does he get a budget or does he not get a budget? So going with the carry forward, you said that there was seventy thousand dollars in carry forward in the road, and there then, there could be. That's what Julie's projecting. And then there was two hundred fifty thousand dollars for Birch Point that hadn't been spent for the erosion fund. For the erosion, right? So that's not for Birch Point Road, but for the erosion project. Right, but it's on Birch Point. Right. Down at the end of Birch Point, the erosion down at, at the end of Birch Point. So that's three hundred and twenty thousand dollars. That should be left over at least. Well, the seventy thousand, if I understand it, but it's in the budget right now. Mm -hmm. It's current budget. Yeah, right. There's still has three months left to spend. It. Right, right. But I guess what I'm saying is the difference between the 2023 budget and what's physically been spent is not three hundred and twenty thousand dollars. It's only um, one hundred and forty-nine. So where's the other $160,000, $180,000? Where did that go? I don't understand what you're 
I don't either. And these questions are better asked when we have time to do research because we can't answer that question. Well, this has happened pretty fast this year. I don't know how much time we have to do research. It wasn't really fast. We've been meeting for a number of weeks. No. What was your question? Or your I have lots of questions about these different items, but you know. Well, I agree saying. with Jeff, and, I, and it, this this confuses me. And and a lot of these roads that are put on here to do overlays on, in my professional opinion, should not be overlaid. Um, they don't need overlay. Maybe they need patching. Uh, it, it's a lot of money to be spending to just put pavement on top of something that really just needs the crack sealed. Well, well, then I would recommend focusing on that if you want to reduce the budget. We, and I can tell you that for the special project for the Birch Point Road erosion project, that money would be carried over because it's considered designated for a specific project. But the other carryover is the leftover money from the general roads. I'm going to recommend that it not be carried over. Just to make that clear. I don't know how the selectmen will vote on that, but that's what I will be recommending. And how much is that? Maybe no more than 90000 I would say. But at least it will get that out of that ambiguous pot that we're unsure of. So can there's you, roads that don't need to be... Uh, can I ask a, just a clarifying question? The, uh, the, the town, the select people, uh, you and, and everybody are, are working on roads issue, correct? I mean, yes, we to are. clarify it and make it better next year so we're not sitting And we're also doing this. some internal things so that there's more oversight about okay. the accounting okay. pieces. So, so we're working on it. Until that's, until that's completed, I have a motion for you. And I expect that it will probably fail, but we'll get it started tomorrow. Um, I, I guess um, and I'm okay with it failing, but it will maybe generate some conversation. I, I recommend that we approve the road budget with a $20,000 reduction and the understanding that any carryover is applied to this year's budget. And your $20,000 is based on the average? It's based, it, it's, it's pretty weak and it's flexible. <laughs> it's based on, it's, it's a shot in the dark, but it's based on the average of 2021-2022 and the budget of 23. And your further understanding that the select board with the town administrator and the road mission are going to find a way to make this a more presentable budget? I don't know if I can include that in my... I'm just saying, I, I, I'm just saying that I understand. Oh, that's my... I think you should. Well, I, because... Every time a check is written, we should know why it's written, what road it was written for. Hundred percent. Right. Well, you should. I'm not but sure. Well, everybody should. Well, I, we should try it. I'm with well, you. I, 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 wanna, I just want to stay in my lane here. I think that. But you, I, I agree with that. I, feeding from that, when we look at you know, there's a we look at one hundred fifty thousand dollars allocated to Arthur Junior Road, Quaker Road, Point Road, and Hill Overlay, and I and you know if they. I, I thought the road was done for you. We don't, it's not our job to, this is a road commission, but it's not our job. We have to some road say that's not but, needed. But we need it for everyone in this room to make a valid decision on this. We don't have the information that says what was spent that cost $336,000 in general road repair. We should be tracking that. You that, see that was the bills road. every time you sign the warrants. And they're all itemized, okay. so I don't think that's a valid argument. No, all we so, need to do is we, we need like a ledger. So we do need a ledger. Yeah. You, that's fine. I mean, but I think this is this is, a detail. this is but this is exactly what, this is exactly why I asked you that question to begin with is because I don't think this conversation is going to help anyone tonight. Okay. No, as long as right. it's corrected. If you make the request that there be more clarity in future budgets. I think that's a <coughs> Instructions, not so much. But a request um, is a perfectly reasonable thing to include in a, in a motion. Okay, so I'll, done, yeah. I'll adjust my motion. You haven't officially ended that, so you can read it. 
Can I say something before you do your motion? No, go ahead. Before you address it. Uh, I'll do it in discussion. Yeah, so I think I would like to make a motion that um, with the understanding that the town is going to address the um, documentation and confusion with the road budget and some of the oversight, um, that we reduce the road budget by $20,000 based on the average. And we can actually, I'm just going to say $20,000. If people want to get exact and do it, they can. Um, and apply any remaining carryover to this year's budget. Is there a second? I'll second it. <laughs> Discussion. I'm not. I don't feel comfortable with any of this. No. We. I just don't understand these numbers. They don't make any sense to me. I don't. I don't know what we do with it in a case like that. I don't know what the procedure would be. But I'm not comfortable with making a recommendation on the road budget because I don't understand it at all. That's, that's fair. Yeah. I, I. I don't disagree with you. I was under the understanding that um, we're we have to vote on something. Well, that's yeah. a, that's my question. Yeah. So what, maybe, what, maybe some clarification on that would be. Can okay. we? Can we? Uh, you, know, just, you don't need your. We don't need to recommend. That's what I'm asking. Right. You can we, vote to not include a recommendation on the town meeting warrant. You can vote against it in its entirety. You can break it up in pieces and vote on separate vote, sections. I don't want to vote against it, but I just, yeah, you know, I, I just, I want to stay in, basically. Yeah, you have some options. Though. I just don't understand it. Sorry. No. No, no, it's okay. Um, I have some further changes if you want to finish. Well, this is discussion. Okay, so I have some different changes, maybe, to piggyback on what you're saying. I totally agree with all of that. I don't get it. I took a really close look at this. Um, and the salt and sand every year seems to be at 40000 and though we're spending less, 23 or less. Um, so I propose we changed it to twenty six. Instead of 40. Well, well, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, first page, page 18, it's uh, 20 08. So 26 instead of 40 because it's been 23,000 and you guys just bought in a month ago what you needed for the rest, and so it's still at 19. So and carrying 40 year. seems so, like uh, a lot. Big time this year. That's what they said last year about this year, and it's still only at 20. You know what the year to date number is? Well, isn't this it? Didn't you print No, no, I'm saying when, date, when the year to date was before the last purchase. Or today. Right. It was printed today. So okay. it's up to date. date. So it yeah, includes, it takes it directly out of the so training program. So it includes that last purchase. Yes. Right, that's why I was looking at it thinking that 26 would be enough buffer and less than 40. How much sand and salt do we have over the, you know? I don't know how much we had, but we just took a delivery. Steve uh, says we need 700 yards of sand. We just got a delivery. That's what he told me. No, 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 salt. In addition to what we just took? The salt's no. going You approve salt. We need 700 yards of sand. In addition to what we just get to where we are today. Mm -hmm. Yes. What if we just did 30? And what if we get a bad winter? And what if we run out of salt? We've had some bad winters, and you have a contingency fund, and then there's a road capital. There's a road, where is it? Rollover fund. And yeah, there's, there's all kinds of it. carryovers and things in here that could handle that. I don't need to know too. if we're going to rely on the carryover or not. So what are the, so Donna said 30 and you said 26. I'm fine with 30. Well, I was looking at 21, assuming it was a big year, it was 29. And the price is going to go up. Right. That's what I'm Okay. I think that's it. And there was some discussion. What, what happens? Oh, I'm sorry. And there was some discussion. I don't know if there still is or not. When we did 
do a contract if the contractor is going to write a salt and sand. I think we've gone back and forth and back and forth. I don't know where we are for that. Well, we have to deal contract. with that. His contract negotiation. Yeah. Yeah. We're buying the sand. This on this contract. Right. Oh, but his contract is negotiation. The next contract. <laughs> so, if only. Twenty thousand is spent this year, and there's twenty thousand left over. That twenty thousand is rolled into surplus, and that goes back Currently, into roads. Currently, that's how it works, and it goes directly back into roads. Currently, to yes. Help. Yeah, but that's the ambiguous part that I'm talking about that we can't see the number. Right. Except for under under my motion, because what you're trying to do is going to automatically happen. What I'm trying to also, by, re by reducing that twenty thousand. Oh, there's more. You know, but but what I'm saying though is, you, you can take twenty thousand dollars out of that mm -hmm. and make it go away, or you can leave it in there. And if it's not spent, they will roll it and they'll use it for this use. But you want to offset the budget? No, I'm trying to reduce the budget a little bit instead of instead of having. I know it's good to have extra, but it seems like. Historically, some of these accounts have too much extra in them. So if you shave a little bit off of all of them and are like that, it becomes a bigger pot, which would help with the tax bills and everyone's issues in October. So. Well, I'm understanding right now is that there will be a proposal of some kind to take a lot of the surplus money and put it towards the, this year's coming tax bill, right? Right, but I'm not talking about last year's surplus. No. I know, I'm saying overall, the surplus that goes in there, it should be used to offset tax credits. So you want to have elevated? No, no, I'm, not saying, I'm saying that the past surplus, I'm saying the past surplus we have yes. should be used. Right, but it just seems like constant surplus every year. But if we roll it over, we're going to start to get a handle on the surpluses that we have, and maybe the next year have a budget that makes. Well, because there's going to be more documentation. Okay, yeah. let's, there's, let's. So there was that one, yeah. and then there's um, 20 3. You guys talked about the striping. What day? I'm sorry. sorry, page 17. 20 3 the paint, striping, and mowing. It's proposing it goes down to 12. Um, the patching has been under a thousand dollars for the last three years, so I propose instead of twenty-five, we go down to ten for the patching. The um, well, the patching, I mm -hmm. assume there's, a, there's two big projects there. Was the fire station in the town office, right? Yeah, that yeah, we're doing more piece planning and doing more striping than usual, and the cost of striping has increased. Do we have more roads than we have had? No, before? it's parking lots and other things. What, are the, what was the estimate you gave us for the uh, hot top of the fire station? Um, I so don't think you gave an estimate. I don't think you did either. Mm -hmm. There's one corner that's broken up that needs to be redone, but the entire place doesn't need to be redone. Of what? The fire department? Fire department. We might end up putting a guardrail at the fire this department. Where the water sits is all broken up. I don't know. There's some work that needs to be done there. I okay, so this just says patching. It doesn't I say guardrail and lots of extra work. I, I think what the fire chief and Steve were saying that night was that they wanted to do the whole parking lot. The whole It really whole didn't lot. develop and until that conversation. Well, they're trying to get the trucks to not cut in front of the fire station because they do right now. So they're thinking a guardrail because of would make them, you know, go around that. It's going to impede the fire truck's ability to move around. And no, John doesn't think so. Okay. No. The, I mean, that's more for the people that are driving up back to get to their homes. Oh, I get they're, it. They're cutting in front of the, the garage doors. Right. So I, I don't think that, that based on those two Hot top items. I don't think that's unusual. Okay. And then the paving, the Arthur J. Reno Road doesn't need anything. Um, actually, it does. It's been on the list, and the select board has been aware of it for a couple of years. There's one pothole. 
Can you explain what needs to happen? You look at me? No. Uh, well, it, it's... I mean, Steve has talked about this when we had the site visits. When the trucks are pulling in and people try to go around it, they go into that hole and practically going off the road into the ditch. Um, so you're talking about widening the entrance? It's on both sides, actually. In front of, um, I don't know if the name's Bloodville Valley or who's over there now. They're complaining how much the traffic's going into their driveways to avoid the potholes. Does the contract that we're about to renegotiate and in our current contract we have with them include road maintenance for the transfer station? It could involve that. Does it? Doesn't yet. No. So I'm thinking that maybe we should hold off on that piece? Well, no, we can't do that. No, on a, on a maybe. No, we can't do that. We're going to decide. Okay. I, um, we could do future maintenance too. This. I mean, this says overlay. I drive over there and I look at it, and it doesn't look like it needs an overlay. It has a pothole. If there's an issue with the entrance, and it needs to be wider, then that's but different. But I don't think, as this committee, are the ones to say whether the board commissioner but I, is, this, is wrong to propose this budget. I don't. I don't. I know I should have hot topping. If the board commissioner says to me, "This road needs a hot top," I don't believe he's going to do it for nothing just because he wants a hot top. But, if, but here's, I guess, is this comes to Jeff's point that it's the, the information that we have. If it needs an entrance, it shouldn't be listed as overlay. Because well, I, I, that's, that's really the information. We're trying to make decisions on what's Well, right now, it says, to me, it says paving right here. Right. So, Possible paving on three roads, one, two, or three roads. It says overlay at the end. That's why I was confused. And or maybe, maybe it's just the hill road. Just the hill road. Get, get the hill road. <laughs> Okay, so I have to wonder why these detailed questions aren't being asked when the road commissioner is in the room. I was out of the No, I understand you were not here. So, and not, but but I think it was we, a very confusing meeting, and he was very agitated, and it was very difficult to carry on a conversation, ask the questions, and get answers. He should be asked to come back if the budget committee is confused. Yeah, I got to be honest with you. I look at this budget and stuff, and I, and I, I hope. This doesn't sound sarcastic, but I don't think it really matters. The money shifts around so much that I think all we're really voting on is the final the bottom, the bottom Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it, I mean I'm it's, right. I agree with you. And, Past and years. I disagree with that principle mm -hmm. completely, but I think that's reality. And if 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 the group decides to abstain, um, I'm okay with that. But I think I'd like to know what that looks like. What that Sounds like to the public. How about we abstain with a with a, with a, uh, a caveat that uh, or whatever cut the term is of art that uh, we get a, more, a, a a budget that's more that's clearer. Well, you will next year. I'm confident of that. Well, and the the things with the road, the thing with roads too, though, is they're very much a moving target. You can have a disaster come happen on one particular road, and your money's got to go there. And I think we understand that. Um, and that's what happened last year, right? We shifted the money from that. So what happens if we do abstain from, from uh, recommending? It, it goes to a town meeting that's not recommended by budget committee. And what, is that, what are the implications of that town meeting? Not so. recommended or no recommendation taken because they yeah. have different contexts. Yeah. Right. And it all, all depends on what they Right. So, I so, guess, so what happens then? Is to, yeah. Does the vote get no budget? I mean, what no, is no, no. Town no, meeting votes. Town meeting votes. Town meeting votes. Town town votes. votes. Town and there's discussion and right. mm -hmm. and then they'll be they, there and yeah. be able to explain. And hopefully. Dave usually stands up and explains any of our votes or any of us can stand up at the meeting and explain our views on any of the votes or whatever. Okay. It's just don't make it too hard on my husband. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna have fun with this. He said he's going away. Well, I, just, I, I just wonder if this thing is a is a more uh, is a, a, a more reasonable approach than trying to reduce something that I know nothing about. Exactly. That's what I think. I mean, I, because I don't know, I'm, I don't know the first syllable hot top or if I'm no, going to layer or anything. I, 
You have to depend, it's like the fighter pack. Right. right. You depend on the fighters you tell. You depend on what people right. tell you. And, and in this particular case, people aren't just telling us enough, so it makes it difficult. But um, I think I might go down my own motion, actually. <laughs> So, Jeff, <laughs> my job is civil design. I design roads for a 